rent system uh, is very tiny. We have a few of these, I guess they're 55 gallon or so rainwater barrels um, that we put under our downspouts. It's not enough water for our needs. Um, thankfully, we did have a, a good rainstorm and we uh, have these filled again, but we do our best to keep mosquitoes out. Um, they manage to get in, but um, we just don't have enough water. And we get a lot of rain events, and a lot of it just tumbles out and goes down the hill here. So we're not collecting what we, what we can. So we have invested in some of these used food grade um, IBC totes. And I believe they are... 100 and no they're 275 gallons a piece and so we are working to set them here so we, we're going to move them we, we know we've got to level the ground and and whatnot and then we're going to be installing our rainwater harvesting system in our climate we will um empty these um before it starts really fre getting freezing so that we can, the tanks won't break or bust. And then they'll, we'll reattach or start filling them once the freeze events are no longer happening. Well, with, with no pavers underneath, um, and our ground is so compacted, I mean, that's not too bad. We gotta work on it a little bit, but maybe we can just shim it up. Yep, maybe we'll just fill it apart. Just dirt? First things first, <laughs> gotta clean out the gutters. Oh gosh. Later on, we will, when we are able to, we'll replace all the gutters and make sure that they're all screened. So this is kind of our improvised system. We thought we'd have another spout coming here, overflow. It just did not work out with this design. Um, this rain harvesting system we got is metric pipe. This here is standard gauge pipe. This is from Home Depot. Uh, Home Depot does not have any metric pipe. So we had to do some, some variations. The rain's going to come down off this gutter and it's going to go here into a gross filter first. Then it's got a second filter system. This is a drop filter. It's got a little slow release nipple here. What happens is the water slowly fills this up and once it fills this up in a rain event and it has all, usually when the rain happens you get your first uh, dirtiness comes off your roof, your dust and your debris. It'll fill up in here, it'll get trapped in here. This will be able to take off. This actually unscrews, and we can take this off to clean it. But then the water will come down, and it's going to go into our IBC tote right there. Okay. Tomorrow, one of the things we're going to do is we have the two outlets at the bottom of the tote. We're going to take an attachment like this. We're going to put this attachment on here, and we're going to run a garden hose connection we're going to make a little hose tap that goes between the two totes so that as the rain starts filling this tote it'll fill this tote they'll both be at the same level and they'll raise and then we'll have a tap off this tote here for our hose and then we'll be able to gravity feed all the lower orchards eventually what we're going to do is we're going to have a solar pump take it up the hill up there, we're going to station some more IBC totes up the hill. We're going to just solar pump the water up. We got lots of sun aspect here. And then we can gravity feed from those totes to the hill orchard or to any other trees we have up there. So it's a work in progress. This is the first of our system. We're going to do another one over here off this downspout and eventually every single downspout around the house. We'll just keep building in more water catchment. Um, we have no external water here. 
Uh, our well only feeds inside and we wouldn't want to use our well water anyways because well we don't have tons of water in our well we've got a lot of slate around here so it, it should be a really big upgrade to the farm and we're looking forward to that I guess we get to test the system. That's working. You can tell here it's catching some of the uh, debris coming down. We've got a leak here we've got to address. It's coming down into the system. A little bit flowing out here when it was raining harder, but we're filling up our tank as you can see. So we'll make some adjustments and get it tuned up. So, oh boy, we're having a rain event and we don't have the second tank hooked up, but so this tank is full and it's backing up out of our rain diverter here. And we're having problems getting the right kind of coupling sizes and going back and forth and it's all like, some of this is like going from metric to standard and it's crazy. So for now, we're just going to, instead of trying to hook up this to this and get a hose, we're just going to put two hoses here so that this tank can fill up. And then here we have a screen for air so we don't create a vacuum. And if it overflows, it can overflow out through this screen so neither tank will burst. But we are collecting a lot of water. So the system is working, it's just not kind of dialed in perfectly yet. So we've kind of got our system here. This was this was a bit of finagling and running back and forth to Home Depot, but we found this uh, two female sided hose in between, and then we have a double um, part here, and then this is the hose that will go to be able to water in. Garden. We're in business, folks. Here, it's, uh, you know, it's not like city pressure, but here we have gravity-fed rainwater from up the hill coming down so we're able to more comfortably water our uh, seedlings. So this is great. <laughs> 